Now our website does not have a free SSL certificate. So as you can see right here, it is not secure. So what we're going to do is I need you to go to plugins, click on installed plugins, and you can see that no plugins are there. So click on add new and search here for free SSL. The first plugin that will pop up is really simple SSL. You can see right here that it was downloaded by 5 million active installations, it has a lot of reviews, and it was updated not too long ago, it's two months ago. And so it's compatible with our version of WordPress. Click install now. All this is simple and straightforward. Click activate. And now I need you to go to settings. Afterwards, go to settings, click general. Now scroll down. You can see right here that the WordPress address URL here does not correspond to our domain name. So what we're going to do, I need you to add the S. Let's go back and pick our domain name. Just copy and paste it basically. Paste it right here. All right, so it was pasted. Let's take it again. Copy and paste it over here as well. So here's our domain name it was pasted. Everything is fine now. So scroll down and click Save Changes. Now once we click Save Changes, you'll notice that we're going to be logged off of WordPress. And that's normal. Do not get scared. Now we're going to be locked off only for a period of time. This period will not be for more than one or two hours. So basically one to two hours. So if you're in front of your computer now, take a rest, man. Take a rest and go and enjoy life and come back in two hours. And you'll, you'll find that you'll be able to log into your WordPress dashboard again. Now, in order to log into the WordPress dashboard, just log into your Bluehost account because you have an account. Now, the login of the account is basically the domain name and basically the password that you've created at the beginning. And when you log in there, click log into WordPress and they'll log you to WordPress. In this instance, we're not going to be able to log in because of the modification that we did. So we need to wait for about an hour to two hours, even more for the changes to propagate. And then we're going to continue. So just wait two hours, guys, and come back. All right, so right now at this point, we're gonna have to log back to our WordPress dashboard. Now, if you if you did, if you followed the past trick that we've done, you know, we've changed the domain name from the generic domain name that they gave us to blossomshopworld.com. And what that did is it, it threw us out, you know, it threw us out from, you know, we, we were not able to reach the website. Like I told you, you could have waited about two hours to four hours you know, and you, you could log back in. And so after you wait for those hours, come back to Bluehost. That's all you need to do. Come back to Bluehost, log in again. Now, wow. Okay, this is the Bluehost website. Now you go back there and click on login. Now once you click on login, you need to remember your domain name. You need to remember your password because otherwise you'd not be able to log in. Now there is also another method that you can log in by webmail. You click the webmail. So if you remember your email only, you can use that to log into your account. But I will just go with the other option. I click log in now. Now, once I log in, I'll be able to log into my WordPress dashboard once again, and we'll activate the SSL certificate. So as you can see right here, log into WordPress. And as you log into WordPress, you'll be able to see that we have the option. If you scroll down, you have the option to activate SSL. So click on it. Now right here, SSL is now activated, as you can see right now. It says 71%, but don't give it, a, don't, don't, don't even think about it. It's not even important. Now you're gonna see that they're gonna start, you know, asking you to go pro. And this is all marketing tactics to get you to buy the full version of the plugin, but you don't need that. So what I need you to do now to verify that you have the SSL certificate, you have two ways. Either you look here where you see the lock. And if you click view, view site information, you can see that connection is now is secure. So the SSL certificate is activated or there is another way you click on well don't click just hover over welcome and click on visit let's open it in a new tab and go there 
And once you go there, you'll be able to see your SSL certificate right here on top. And so at this point, we have activated the SSL certificate for free. We have not paid a penny for it. And this is all attempts in an attempt to lower down the price because, as you know, it's all about lowering the cost. Okay, so this is how you activate the SSL certificate.